Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Cam here from the Tech Lecture. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to install Ubuntu 16.04 within, uh, we're going to be doing it within VirtualBox, but this will be installing Ubuntu 16.04 within any machine. Alright, so we've attached our ISO here to our VirtualBox. We're going to go ahead and boot this up. And uh, for this video, I'm going to let everything run in real time, and that way you have an idea on how long this is going to take as well. Alright, so we're booting up to the desktop here. Alright, here we go in the installer. So you have the options of trying Ubuntu or installing Ubuntu. Trying Ubuntu is going to be a live CD version. It'll allow you to view the operating system, see what it's going to be like before you install it, and it, ha it has no effect on your hard drives or your current operating system. Um, I already know that we want to install Ubuntu, so we're going to go ahead and do the uh, direct install. Um, we're not going to download updates right now. Um, we can do that later. Um, oh, actually, let's just let's just go ahead. And, yeah, let's just go ahead and do updates anyways. I also do install the th the third party proprietary drivers. You don't have to if you don't want to. Um, we're not going to do encryption. We don't need to do LVM for now. Um, we're just going to erase the entire disk and install Ubuntu. Um, if you do have a current operating system on your machine and you're trying to dual boot your machine, then you'll need to go through and resize the partitions manually. We're going to go and write that to disk. Choose our location. New York's good enough. Uh, make sure your keyboard layout's correct. English, US, correct. this make it a little bigger uh, let's see if I can get that big enough alright hopefully you guys can still see everything I'm gonna go ahead and move this to the center alright now we get to set up our user we're gonna call it tech lecture um, tech lecture virtual box is good enough tech lecture is fine for our username our super ridiculously secure password and we're going to go ahead and require a password for login. And then uh, hit continue and it will start copying your files over for the installation. Um, well, this is copying stuff. If you guys have any recommendations for future videos or if there's a particular type of tutorial you, get, you guys are looking to see, um, go ahead and drop that in the comment section and I'll see what I can do about making a video on your topic. Um, and for this machine, this is Ubuntu 16.04. The LTS um, is actually 16.04.2. We are running in VirtualBox um, on a machine. This particular VirtualBox has two gigs of RAM associated with it, and I think I don't even think it's a hundred megs of um, video memory. So a fairly low power machine. Nothing, nothing spectacular here. The installer has finished copying our files. It's going to go ahead and start installing the system. Go ahead and uh, down the extra details box so that way you guys can see a little bit of what's going on here. Um, something else we can go over in the future is a uh, pre-seed install. So basically what that is is uh, as you're going through this installer right now you're giving answers to questions that the installer is asking you. A pre-seed file is simply a list of answers that the installer um, needs to install your system. So we can go through um, and then set up our system the way we want and then take and create a pre-seed file that has all these answers in it to these questions the installer is asking us 
and then the next time we go to install Ubuntu, we can provide that answers file to the installer, and it will do a uh, unattended install, so a complete install without user interaction. Another thing we'll probably talk about in future videos, um, as far as installations of operating systems go, is probably going to be Pixie Boot. Um, so basically, you can set up a Pixie server, PXE server, and then um, we are going to put our Ubuntu OS on there. And I'll go over this a lot more in detail later and make a full video on it. But um, we'll be able to boot over the network and actually choose different operating systems that we'd like to install and then uh, install them over the network so we won't have to have physical like flash drive media or anything like that to plug into our machine to actually boot it. We'll be able to do it completely over the network. And then uh, we can also use our um, pre-seed file and then make it completely unattended to where you don't have to be there. You start the installer and it'll finish the rest of it for you, which is pretty convenient. So uh, be looking out for that in the future video. Looks like our installation is complete. We're going to go ahead and hit restart now and restart our system. Looks like it's booting up here for us. And boom, there we go, on the desktop. Let's go ahead and log into our user. All right, here we go. We're in uh, Ubuntu 1604 LTS right now, on the desktop. Um, so that's going to be about it for this video. If you guys have any uh, questions or recommendations for future videos, please let me know. And uh, if you have any questions or comments or anything like that, please leave those in the comment section. And I will see you all in the next video.